it wasn't tattooing that was the hardest part. It was like, well, how do I like set up and break down? And how the hell do I get the gloves on and yeah. off? Like, and how do I do it like professionally? Right. And it actually be sanitary and like. Not put it in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so then I, um, I was looking up everything. I mean, I, I found this stupid like contraption that's like meant to put socks on for like, huh, okay. uh, people like after they have like drop foot and you like shove your foot down and like it goes in and like you pull the sock like up this thing and like it's so it opens it all like huge and then you slide your foot in and then like push it down. Uh-huh. So I was like. Maybe that'll work. That thing, yeah. So then I like pulled the glove and like, you know, it was like open huge and like shoved my hand in and it like worked. But then I was like, what do I, what do I drill this onto? Like I got to find like a, a countertop and I got to drill it onto it. And like, but then I was like struggling to get the glove on there. And so I tried quite a few different things and like looking stuff up on the internet. Like, and then I, I tried like YouTubing, like, how do you get a glove on one handed? There's nothing by the way. At all. We're going to change that. Yeah. So then Done. I. <laughs> it exists. So I hang it on there, like kind of fold it inside out. Put my hand in it. Whoa. Yeah. And then when I take it off, like I flip it upside down. And then it pull it inside out. I had a couple of people send me like things that they found like on the internet, like random things. And a couple of tattooers that they had ran into like and then there was a couple of like i think they were foreign i can't remember um but they weren't like the greatest tattooers mm-hmm. um and so i never reached out to them um and then i got a message from somebody that was like hey check out this tattooer and it was this guy uh that goes by southpaw tattoos and he had been in a car accident and his right arm got severed off. So, uh, and he was a right-handed tattooer, mm. which is the same situation as me. So we didn't go through the same thing, but like, as far as like our careers and everything like that, we're going through everything the, totally the same. Yeah. And so I messaged him and i was just like okay either because like he had like you know quite a bit of followers i was like either he's never going to see this message or he's not going to want to share his secrets or like it'll be nice but um i don't know what else to do so fucking i'm gonna try so i messaged him and it did definitely take a little bit uh for him to get back to me but uh when once he did he was like of course i'd help like it's awesome. It's not like you meet somebody who's gone through like something like you, especially in this circumstance, like whatever you need, like here's my number to you, like text me whenever. And I was like, okay, like, blah, like here's everything I need. And I was like, how are you doing this? Like, yeah. do you have an apprentice? Do they put your gloves on for you? Or are they always breaking your shit down for you? Like whoa, explain. And, you know, he was like, no, he's like, I do everything myself. He's like, obviously, I've found ways around things like, um, you know, uh, that like new ways to do things. And then he was like, and for the gloves, I use the I use a hook and like I hang the glove off of it and I just shove my hand in it. And that was like that was all he told me. And I never saw a video or or anything like that. And uh, so I immediately went out to Home Depot and there was like this rotating 360 like hook and Mm -hmm. i bought that and i actually put a little bit of cohesive bandage on the end of it because i thought that the metal was just going to rip through every pair of gloves every single time right and i literally tattooed from 12 o'clock in the afternoon till two in the morning and i did eight tattoos that day just on homies yeah well it's like i had a couple of cousins um who were down like i i, I tattooed one and then like four of them were like i want tattooed i want tattooed i want tattooed is that hook the same hook that you use now uh yes so you just found the right hook yep wow yeah so uh i then i did all those tattoos and i was just like oh my gosh like 
I feel normal. Like, because, like, I had tattooed, but, like, it was so hard. Like, every time that I had tried to tattoo, it was, like, I'd either have to be, like, hey, like, somebody come over. Like, can you put your, put my glove on for me? Like, (laughs) help me, you know, be sanitary about this. And, uh, you know, that just, like, wasn't working. So, I was, like, I have to figure out this glove situation first. Well, once I figured out that glove situation, that's where, like, you know, I ended up tattooing eight people in one day. And I just, like... I knew I wouldn't be able to be doing that 24-7 because my body just won't tolerate me tattooing all day anymore. But uh, it was like finding tattooing all over again. Wow. And I was just like, this was the best day ever. Like, Yeah.